Hi, my name is Jane and I work for Saluce Fatigue Foundation, a charity based in the West Midlands, helping people with fatigue. In 2015, I was a fit, healthy and active PE teacher and mum. Then in 2016, life came to an almighty stop. System overload led to system shutdown. I had widespread pain. I had lead for muscles. I had to have help getting dressed. I, I struggled to write and speak coherently. And you know, in Men in Black, when they get the pen and they zap your memory, it was like that huge chunks of my memory have gone from that period in time. I'm not alone though in this life impacting fatigue. There are 260,000 people in the UK for whom a good night's sleep just doesn't do it. Where does this fatigue come from? Well, a huge range of conditions, longer than listed here. And obviously, unfortunately, recently, we're hearing about the awful fatigue from long COVID. Often after diagnosis, health professionals are left unsure with how to help us manage our fatigue. So Luce has the answer. We have self-management via our fatigue wellbeing hub. We have education via our workshops, and we have support through our online groups. We know we're needed. 542 million pounds was the UK health service spent just on chronic fatigue, chronic fatigue syndrome alone in 2017. Uh, we are funded by hub subscriptions, by donations to our charity and by local funding. 75% of our beneficiaries reported that they were using less or no medication as a result of following our programme. If that's the case, then we have the potential to help the NHS save 28 and a half million pounds. So now it's over to you. Please keep your workforce healthy, share us on your wellbeing hub or include us in your wellbeing policies. Ensure all stakeholders in your absence management programme are aware of us and refer to us. And please consider donating to us. A hundred pounds will pay for three education sessions that we could roll out to hundreds of people. Help us to help more people, please. People like Judith and Angela, Kath, Jane, Peter, Janet, Sophia. Please help them to return to their families, to their work, to their communities. I really look forward to having a conversation with you. Thank you for your time. And can I also thank my son, George, who helped in the production of this PowerPoint presentation. Thank you.